Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jason Gray 503 from Blood and Fire Country Club. Hey, we're going to be uh, going over a couple holes practicing on Aaron Hills. It's the next uh, course that we'll be doing for the World Cup. And uh, might as well get some course knowledge in. Check it out. So anyone can do this by finding the course and picking whatever they want to do. So in practice mode, just to get the greens, everything else down. We'll go low wins tournament. We'll go to 13 greens, which the, the World Cup plays on 13 greens, but 12 will be close enough. Give us an idea of where to go, where not to go, and you know how to play certain things. So uh, in practice mode, I'm using a different ball than I normally would, but has similar stats. So we'll see how that plays out. I think this first one's pretty obvious. Just don't get stuck in here if there's a bad uh, headwind. So this view is pretty good. You know, you want to look at the safe shot. Like, do I really want to risk coming over all this to try and get real close? And with my, well, I guess I've got apparel on, but normally I don't have apparel on. So normally it's going to be, you know, up in here somewhere uh, with the normal three wood or up in here. So we'll play a shot up here. Actually, you know what? Because that's not good to practice. We'll just play a shot here. Uh, most of the time the, from my second shot, unless we have tons and tons of tailwind, it's going to be in here. So you want to practice the approaches you're normally going to have, right? So it's a three iron up there. All right. Usually yeah, maybe a little further ahead, but you never know with the wind. All right. So let's check this out. I'm pretty sure this one just plays straight up. So we'll figure out the yardage and everything else. So from my calculations, I'm going to take just under three yards off for the downward elevation, add, you know, two and a half yards or so for the wind uh, slightly in our face. So I need about 99 to 100 yard shot. My sandwich carries about 104 yards and stops there. So that's about a 96 percent, um, you know, 96 percent power on a sandwich flat. So good to know your carry distances and you know, on your flat shot, 80% backspin, 60%, all that. Um, so then I want to look at the vertical or, you know, the how much to aim. And uh, we have some different charts. If you guys want to get them, you can uh, message us on WGT and we can give you some of the charts. But you take the factor here. So I'm going to take six for some of the, the wind going right to left or left to right. And I'm going to divide it by the factor of 2.78 for... 100 yards, that's 2.1. So each box, each big box is worth two. So it's left to right. So we move like this, that'd be two, 2.1 is right here. Now you can already see, you don't wanna miss left big time, right? Because you're gonna roll down to the, to the left-hand side here. So if you're gonna miss, you wanna miss right. I'm guessing though, if I landed left of this pin and stayed there, that might be the easier putt because that'll be an uphill putt. But we'll explore that when we get to the green. So I'm gonna to aim to ding or slightly miss ding. Okay, so that's the goal, 96%. Um, let's see how it works out. Major miss ding, but you know, go, missing on the right-hand side, the safe side, and we're pin high. So let's look at this putt, obviously two feet, two yards, whatever, it's not that bad. So it is downhill, it's slightly right to left. So not that big of a deal. Um, so, you know, if you have this putt, you can practice it a bit and know, you know, do you aim out here or where are you aiming? And you can take notes on that. So on the notepad, you can take notes about here, but also you can click the green and type in here, you know, where the good putts are. And if you have seven feet, eight feet, 12 feet for you, where are you normally aiming? So let's go over here. Let's try to miss it more left, even though it's not, you know, don't want to miss it too far left, but let's get the ball this side of the pin, 96. All right, now it's just what, pin high left, slightly high. And this one is downhill as well, but not much. Similar break, so 
We only had more downhill, so this one's probably a better putt. Now let's get below the pin where you almost always want to be. So let's hit it 95 yards. Or 95%, I mean. Well, that's where you want to be, you know, probably. Let's see. So slightly, I mean, this is a better putt. And let's just see. Let's go, uh, what, 97%? What do we say? 96 for the other one. Let's go uh, 97, 90, just a little more than 97%. Go behind the pin, just see if it's a disaster. A lot of putts behind the pin are because they're downhill and using more curving, but this is going to be back right. Oh, that's pin high because I miss hit it so bad. All right, so this is that putt from far away. Not terrible. So yeah, if I'm here, I would... Uh, you know, aim wherever I'm aiming, hit it in practice mode, and then take note for me, you know, what that putt is like. Um, of course, this is 12 greens, so you want to make sure if you're taking notes, you're applying it towards 13 greens if that's what you're playing in. All right, this should be long, and it doesn't want to go that long, does it? Yeah, downhill. So none of these are actually terrible putts. But left of the pin, so short left is where we want to be as long as we don't go way down here. So let's try to miss here and just see how bad it is. Make sure I get the right club. So we'll go 96. The wind's bringing it back. Well, that wasn't so extreme because the wind brought it back, right? All right. Well, uh, so what I'm going to do here in my note, and I'll put a bottom left and left pin high are the best putts. So I have that there. And then, you know, you just do your calculations. So this is 12 greens. 6.6 so .6 minus one. And then you kind of look at here, you know, a lot of times people just do these for feel. So if I'm practicing putting, so let's say I think, okay, I'm going to aim here and hit my speed. Uh, so let's say I'm going to hit 35%. We can do putt preview, okay? Do 35% and see. Oh, it would have missed, okay? So I need to aim uh, more to the right. So let's say I double click here. Let's do the same putt or the same speed. Oh, that's 6.7 to the left. So I'll, I'll come up here, take a note. If you don't have the notepad, you should buy it. But go back to the whole one. I'm going to say left pin high, 6.7 feet, breaks uh, two cups. The so one cup, double click, edge of aimer. Okay, so you know you can do as much as you need. Here's a my driver goes furthest when I have full backspin with this driver. It's a level 94 driver, and we'll get up here as close as we can. That's a huge drive. nice. All right, so I don't think there's anything special about this one, but we'll go a punch shot about 67 percent or so. Punch shot, 67%. Hmm. A little long. It flew the right distance, but carried. So behind the hole, not a bad putt, right? Let's go short on purpose. So let's go 60% punch, 60%. So what do we got for a putt here? Downhill, not much break, but so long is actually better. Let's see left of it. We'll go uh, 
and high left. And of course, you can just put this. Uh, let's see, what did we do? 67 was long, so 64, 65. Same spot we were earlier, right? Downhill right to left if you're, let's go to the right of it. So look guys, this might be a little boring, right? But winning and getting great at things is all about putting in the work and uh, being tedious, right? It's all areas of our lives. So anyone who's willing to come in here and map out stuff, take notes and then try to execute on their, their game plan, makes them feel most confident. It works for the way they play. They're always gonna have an edge. Okay, so up. Left to right, not a terrible putt. So right side or long, I think. So let's go long over here. What is this? Nine feet, we'll go nine. Back similar to where we were and it's uphill too. So right a pin, behind pin, so. Right of back, right pin, or even long equal best putts. All right, so let's say we're long nine feet like this, 9.5. I'm gonna kind of calculate it on mine. So I do by feel. So I'm looking at, you know, the ball's gonna be in, in these boxes for two boxes. Then it's gonna be here, one, two, three, three and a half boxes, give or take. So the beginning part of here is gonna influence the ball, then the later part of here, right? So you can kind of realize that and see where you wanna aim. Also, you can count the dots. So if you click here, count how long it takes for the dots to get there. And you, you're kind of watching all the dots that will influence the ball and trying to come up with a, an average. So one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000, six 1,000, seven 1,000. 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. So some were done, some are still going. Around 10, so it's around maybe 36%. So this dot, when you click it, is in half the grid, so that's 50, okay? This aimer, for me, the, my screen everything, this aimer is about around 20%. So if I have it in the middle, that's 10%. So when I, the, when I click in, the edge is touching here, I know that I'm aimed at 40%. If I, it's aimed over here, it's at 30. So in the middle, middle of this is like 35 to 34, where we wanna be. I like to misting away from the break. So if it's breaking right to left, I like to misting just a little bit late to push the ball back out so it doesn't go major hooking. So ideally on my cursor, I'm gonna hit just right here or worst case scenario, a ding. All right, now for me, the way I put, I like to put a little hard. So I'm gonna go about, 30% of my power here and misting just slightly right or ding it. And it missed. Okay, so, you know, now I know. And we'll try that putt again. I should have done the putt preview, right? To, to learn and watch it. But you see what happened here is these ones moving a little faster, these ones moving a little slower, and these ones aren't moving at all. Kind of average it out. So we were at we were at 36%. We needed to be about 30%. So we'll put preview that. What? Oh, wrong meter. <laughs> Don't meter yourself, guys. All right, I'm pretty confident it's here anyways. It's not. Good learn. So we'll redo that. All right, what do you guys think? So we did, uh, what did we do? We did. 30%, it wasn't, I know I'm putting firm if I put it a little, so we did 30. So what do you guys think, 20%, 22 maybe, 25, let's go 22. And we'll go about the same speed, slight misting, major misting, wrong meter. Oh man, this is a disaster. Good thing we do this in, uh, in practice mode, right? <laughs> All right. 30. All right, so 30%, this will be 20, we'll go about 22. We'll do the putt preview, we'll do the speed, 
and it'll drop this time, right? Yes, okay. So I'm gonna put here, um, on here. So above top right pin, 9.2 feet, breaks 22% uh, right to left, or left to right, was it? Right to left on 12 speed green. All right, so now I just have to execute, get close to the ding. All right, we'll do one more hole and um, we'll do this series through all 18 holes. So if you like it, or this gives you an idea to go do this stuff on your own, by all means have at it. Now this hole, I have a note of adding two yards. So I've got some other notes here too. I'm gonna put this one at the top. Uh, what happened here with my note? Add two yards. Okay. So we've got 186, 12 elevation, four wind, which is not really doing much of anything except for pushing the ball right to left. It's about 129, 190 yards in. So that's an in-betweener for me. So I'll tell you with my five iron, with most of the balls I use, um, 190, I could hit a flat five iron in the air of fly around 189 yards. I hit 60% uh, backspin, it goes about 188 and then it rolls out one yard or two. 184 if I do 80% backspin. So I think about 188, um, landing a little short, let it release, if it releases, being below the pin I think is better. So let's try that. Let's go 80%. Now this, the, if you look at my ball here, in my mind, the way I track things, this in my mind is 80% backspin. On the chart, it might only show 67 or 62% on the, the top tracker, that's okay. This is a way you gotta relate it to what you consistently do. Five iron. Now the wind is not super strong, right? But it will do something. What do you guys think? Move it two left to right, two boxes, 2.5. Let me, let me look it up here. So the factor I'll use is 1.5. So four divided by 1.5, 2.66. All right, so there's a two. This is about three, so a little less than that. And remember, if it is pushing left to right, although this wind's not that strong, the ball starts going towards the right. So if you land a little short left, it'll roll up towards the right, usually unless the green is crazy. Green right here goes uh, major slope right where I'm aiming at, like it starts to go way uphill. So on a very spinny ball, and if you land on that, especially on faster greens, it can roll back down that hill. So it's not a terrible thing going too long. So I think we're gonna land, you know, right in here and then trickle towards the, the hole is the idea. So let's see it. Let's see if I can execute. I'm not even close to the ding, something I'm working on, but that will go to the right of it. Oh, too short. Wow was not the intention, but you go long, especially on this side, you do have that ramp. So what bottom right putt we see is uphill. That's always nice. Some break, but not a lot. So that's not a bad spot to be. Let's try um, a little less X-Men, five iron. Let's hit closer to the ding. I went on the left side of it, but let's see. Okay, that's what we want. Just barely land there and have it. That's what we were trying to do last time, right? But even then, it rolls off that hill and almost goes in the hole. So that would be an ideal shot, right? Landing short and doing that. Um, so this would be downhill putt. So how do we want to practice this? Let's go uh, a little shorter. Let's go way to the left of it. We just wanna explore the putts, right guys? Okay, it's gonna take the hill from that side too. That's a long putt, who would ever want that? Hopefully you never miss that badly. But you get to see what it is, okay, yeah. Ooh, 
you do not want to miss the left of this hole. Look at this. That'd be tough. So don't miss left. Let's miss more right. What is it, honey? Yes, go ahead. Okay. So let's see, way to the right of it. Oh, I didn't roll up there. Yes. Okay. So what would be good about this, guys, is hopefully you're not missing that badly too, but what would be good is practicing this because you're like, hey, you never know if I end up there, how do I want to play that? But we can get to that in a minute. So let's go to five iron. Oh, what I did, I wasn't paying quite attention. Like, why did I miss so badly? All right, should get on the green, barely. All right, let's see. Again, you shouldn't miss this poorly, but you never know. All right. Wow, you do not want this putt, huh? Holy crap. All right, let's go. You're not gonna go long unless you go super long. So short is the play, of course. Let's go short. Let's go short and maybe a little bit to the right of it if it rolls up that way like I'm thinking. And then I pull it. Ooh, okay, you guys can see what it looks like on the backside. Downhill, big slope, don't want to miss long like we talked about before. All right. That's what we want. Does it ride the hill? Yep. So you guys are seeing this. Your land is short, it's rolling up, even with backspin, right? It's rolling up and then coming down here. So if you land right on the pin, I mean, if unless you have a huge driver and huge spinny balls and clubs, it's gonna be, um, you know, you don't wanna be there. So let's see, where are we at with the hole? We're uh, left, left of the hole. Let's come over here. push it out there a little bit let's see if we end up here how this would be yeah you don't want to be above the pin do you let's go below the pin a bit yeah below the pin i mean look on almost every hole you want to be below the pin right but sometimes it's reverse or there's more curve coming from one way or the other all right, and let's get off the green here if we can. So nine, so I would pitch this probably. I got a pitching chart. You guys should map your pitching too. Thanks to Rafi, he gave me his. I just tweak it a little bit here and there, 64%. Might go, might probably land right here and then, you know, maybe come in here a little bit. So try it like this 64. Not enough. Try again. The okay, last one, guys, last one. Probably make it, you know. All right, 64 is not enough, so we'll go, uh, was that 64? Did I go, I think I did 64. We'll go 66. Uh, pulled it, but that might be all right. Go in. Hey, uh, if I hit the ding, maybe. All right, guys, hey, that's the first three holes of Aaron Hills. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, let us know. Uh, if you want to connect and play some competitive games, add me on WGT. It's Jason Gray 503 G-R-A-Y. And... If you are competitive and you're looking to grow, you're looking to compete and have a fun club to be a part of, uh, go ahead and message us and talk to us on WGT and Discord and put in an invitation to join Blood and Fire Country Club.